what what I'm coming to get today to talk about is top 25 albums of the year. What makes me qualified to talk about this subject? Nothing. <laughs> Except for the fact I've been listening to rap most of my, my life. I'm I'm in my 30s, so I've been since the almost the beginning of this shit. Since LL Cool J and DMC and them. So maybe that makes me a little more out of touch with some of the things that's current. But been since the beginning. I've been rapping forever. Been dropping my own little mixtapes and shit. But anyways, fuck the credentials and all that. Let me start some arguments. Let me get into top 25 rap albums of the year. Old school. I'm old school with it. Wrote it down on some paper. This shit was harder than the scene. Number 25. Cameron, the program. And the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna say the album and I'm gonna say some key songs that I liked in the in the project and small little thoughts. But I'm gonna try to run through this as quick as possible. So Cameron, the program. So it's killer song, this and Mason stuff started one of the biggest beefs of 2017. I guess you could say one of the biggest beefs. It it, it had headlines for a little minute. Uh it's killer, lean, fuck out of here. Chop it up, and you wasn't there. That's some of my favorite uh, songs from this project. And let's move on. Number twenty-four. I'm gonna give this to Zero No Love Boulevard. Now I'll be honest. I'll be a hundred percent. I used to love Zero music, but I still think he he t he talented as hell. That's why I had to put him on this list. But me personally, I don't really listen to Zero anymore. His shit is just too depressing. But they, they got some people, like the way I'm making this list, is some people I'm giving them. I'm going by what I like to listen to, what deserves to be on the list, what's hot, what did numbers. Like some of my some of the things I might have on here, it might not be my personal stuff. And some other things is just because it's my personal stuff. So No Love Boulevard. I glimpsed through it. I ain't really been bumping it. I'll, I'll be honest with you. But I glimpsed through it. And the, the songs that I liked off top, there was a lot of them. I like Solid, Belong to the Streets, Devil in Me, and He's Not Done. Number 23, Ritz, Last Call. Another album that I really wasn't bumping like that, but it's something that I put on my daily album feed. I do it on Instagram. And Homeboy, he talented as hell, but it's somebody I haven't really been into. But I checked out the album, and the album is immaculate, but... It's just somebody I just haven't been into like forever. So I'm just uh, kind of getting on it. But I had to put his album on here. Uh, Press Rewind, Indestructible, Dark Rap, Crash and Burn, So Long, Victory Lap, and Only Human. That's some key songs to the project. He had a lot of songs on there. Moving on. Number 22, Jordan Lucas, 508-507-2209. That's the name of the album. And the reason why this album is so low. Is because rapping wise, he might be the number one in the whole industry. His song structure is beautiful and everything. He tells the best stories in rap, one of the best flows. The reason why it's not higher, his songs don't have playback ability. He has like, I'm not racist. This not it's not on this album, but like you listen to that song, and it's like, damn, that song is incredible. Or you're gonna be riding in the car. Bumping, bumping, uh, I'm not racist. No, that's how a lot of the album is. A lot of the album is, is some thinking music. And it's, it's real good. It's real good rap, but it's just something that you're not going to play over and over. That's the only negative I have of John Lucas. But he's probably the best rapper in the game. Key songs I liked on this project is Just Like You, Just Because, Lullaby, Forever, and Sorry. Moving on. Logic, Everybody. Now, Logic and uh, Jordan Lucas have kind of a, a little beef going, where Jordan Lucas has more of a beef than Logic, I guess. Logic, peace, love, prosperity, all, all that shit. But Logic music, it, it does have more playback ability. Do I think he's better rapper? Hell no. But Logic is incredible. But Logic, like Joe Button and them said, like a lot of people said, like he does use that black shit too much. Like, I'm going to prove I'm black, I'm black, but I'm going to have my white privilege because I look white. So he's, yeah, and he's so nerdy and shit, man. I don't like him as a person, but but his music, well, I can't say I don't like him as a person, but he's just not one of my, uh, one of my people I look at. But his uh, his music is nice. So Logic, everybody, Ink Black, Anxiety, African 
Take it back. Hallelujah. Moving on, number 20. Fabulous and Jada Kiss. Friday on Elm Street. I'm going to try to speed this up because I don't want the camera to die and all this shit and stuff like that. But Friday on Elm Street. Uh, stand up. Theme music. Soul food. Talk about it. Ice pick. That's the songs I like. This song was, this project was delayed forever, but they finally put it out. Thank you to Fabric and JD Kids for finally putting it out. Real bars. Number 19, 2 Chains. Pretty Girls Love Trap Music. Saturday Night, Riverdale Drive, 4 a.m., Realize, It's a Vibe, Burglar Bars. That's some of my favorite songs from this project. 2 Chains, 2 Chains, he one of the nicest in the game, quietly. Like, you wouldn't think about it, but 2 chains got balls, man. Number 18, Belly, Mumble Rap. Somebody I wasn't on from the beginning of their stuff either, but I got on his music. He, he signed with Jay-Z and stuff. I'm like, if Jay-Z signed him, he, he must be nice. So I peeped him out and stuff. He pretty nice with it. Out of Toronto, Make a Toast, The Come Down is Too Real, Lullaby, Alcantara. Number 17, one of my favorite MCs in the game, but... The album is number 17 because it, it wasn't one of his best projects, but it's still good enough to make number 17 on this. Wale Shine. Thank God. Scarface, Rose Gotti, CC White, Mathematics, Fine Girl, Heaven on Earth, DNA. Moving on. Another one on this label, number 16, Meek Mill Wins and Losses. I like Meek Mill. He, he nice. This was a good album on uh, in his catalog. I just had to put it one shade up, up on Wiley, and that Heavy Heart, 1942 Flows, Issues, We Ball, These Scars, Fall Through, Made It From, Never Lose, Made It From Nothing, Never Lose, and Price. That's some of my favorite songs on this project. Yeah, a lot. The, the whole album is pretty much rolling. Number 15, um, he, mm, the whole album wasn't rolling, but the songs that were good, I, I did. Give it to him. He's a legend in the game. He just dropped not too long ago. Number 15, Eminem Revival. Now, this the song. The songs I hated, I really hated. The songs I liked, I liked. Now, these songs, Believe, Like Home, Bad Husband, Need Me, In Your Head, Castle, and the Rose. He's he one of the nicest rappers in the game, man. You might be too nice for his own good and stuff. He kind of lost in his career. I wish I could kind of like a and all his project. I talked to him. Hey, I give him some pointers even though I, I'm broken. I, I ain't shit. And my music never took off. But, uh, number 14, Joey Badass, All American Badass. He, he a nice dude, man. Out of the NY. he been putting it down for a while, been on shit since 1999. And he had his, his, his flow is more current now. But moving on, uh, Good Morning America, Temptation, Land of the Free, Devastated, Why You Don't Love Me, and Legendary. Some of my favorite tracks. Number 13, one of the coldest albums of the year. The only reason why it's number 13 is why it's not in the top five or anything is because it didn't have a lot of songs. It was more of an EP. Freddie Gibbs, You Only Live Twice. And uh, 20K Jesus, Alexis, Crush Glass, Dear Maria, Andrea, Phone Lit, and Homesick. Like, that's almost all the songs. He had only eight songs on the project, but great project. I advise you to check it out. Freddie Gibbs, nice man. Number 12, Jeezy Pressure. Another one that, that was beefing, that's back to back. But Jeezy had a whole album, even though it was only 13 tracks, but it was a whole album. And I think I think the, the project is, is pretty uh, impressive. He came back with a fury. He had been cold for a while. But Spider, Bottles Up, Respect, Pressure, Like Them, American Dream, Snow Season. Number 11. Somebody slept on, you don't know nothing about him probably yet, but I think he's going to be a, a, he's a, I don't know how big he's going to get, but I think he's nice, man. I love his style. Luke, West 1996, Part 2. Sign with Dreamville, out of Carolina. Morning Shift, Still Slumming, Home, Get Up, Jugging, Crabs in the Barrel, Premonition, Living Life. Number 10. Now, this is one of those where it wasn't one of my, I, I like the album, but it's something I don't bump too much. Like, I like her, but it's just not, mm, but she deserved to be in the top 10. So I gave it a number 10 spot. Rhapsody, Layla's Wisdom. So she got Layla's Wisdom, Power, Riding, Nobody, Black and Ugly, You Should Know, You Used to Love Me. She had a lot of nice songs on the project, man. The, the project is dope. It's just not sonically, like, for my ears, but she nice. Number 9, 
Big Sean, the project with uh, Metro Boomin. I lied, that shit is trash. But I decided, he came out with that this year, so I decided it's a nice project. First time I listened to it, I hated it. But then, more listened to it more and more, it grew on me. So we got a lot of joints. Like, Bounce Back, Jump Out the Window, Moves, Owe Me, Inspire, Bigger Than Me. Number eight, something you might not think I'll put on this list, but it made the list. I think the album is incredible, man. I think the, the album cold with them all. Yellow Wolf, Trial by Fire. Son of a Gun, Ride or Die, Daylight, Do for Love, Roll Your Boat, Sabrina, Violin, Keeps Me Alive. Y'all have a pin, man. Y'all write some of these songs down. Go, go check out some of these some of these shits. See if I know what I'm talking about. Number seven, Side High the Prince. Side High, Side High the Prince, No Dope on Sundays. Dope album. Had to put that on here. He was spitting probably some of the bars of the year. Uh, no Dope on Sundays. Get Your Money, Moving Around, Murder, Don't Know Why, Free, 80's Baby, and Closer. Closer. Closer, Closer, mm, Closer, I don't know. Both the same. Number six, Big Crit, Forever is a Mighty Long Time. It maybe could have been higher than this, but it's a double disc. I didn't really care for this one. I don't like Big Crit's trunk music, but I like whenever he, his soul music. So his disc two was was high, good enough to be number six. So forever is a mighty long time. Oscar Hard, Mixed Messages, Everlasting, How You Calling, Price of Fame, Delight, and Bury Me in Gold. And if you see me do like this, cause I write, I wrote it small as hell to try to fit everything in. I'm not that blind. But number five, one of my favorite rappers, is number five, because this isn't one of my favorite projects from him. But it was, a, it was a good project. He had some joints. He had a lot of joints. And some of them he probably had some collabs that was trash. But it was it was nice anyway. Drake, More Life. Free Smoke, Passion Fruit, Madiba Ridden, Blim, Godchester, Sacrifices, Teenage Fever, Lose You, Glow, Since, since Way Back. So that's a lot of joints right there. Number four. One of these cats... Biggest, biggest, uh, not the biggest album, one of his best albums in his catalog. He had the best ear in music for beats and stuff like that. He, he ride the beat. Incredible and stuff. Just, just smooth on everything. I'm going to give it to number four. Rick Ross, Rather You Than Me. And starts out with Apple on My Eye, Santorini Grease, Idols Become Rivals, Trap, 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 I Think She Like Me, Powers That Be, Game Ain't Based on Sympathy, Scientology, uh, Lamb Lamborghini Doors, and uh, Three Times Platinum. Number three. Y'all gonna be surprised by this one? A lot of people would have this number one. I got it number three on my personal list. Kendrick Lamar, Damn. Dope ass project, but the reason I, I'm gonna tell you my reasons when I get into the other albums. Damn. DNA, Yah, Element, Feel, Loyalty, Lust, Love, Fear, God, and Duckworth. Now, almost the whole album, basically. Number two, people sleep on this cat, and people didn't even like this album. But I had this in my car all year, and bumped this all year, and didn't get tired of it. I still love the album, and I love the story. This album brought me to tears on two occasions. It's that deep. If you listen to the album, man, the, yeah, I, I went to tears on it on the last track. But the, I love the story on it. J. Cole for your eyes only. People don't give J. Cole no props, man. The Grammys don't never nominate him. He don't never get no awards or nothing. J. Cole is one of the nicest niggas in the game, man. I love J. Cole music. He probably my favorite, well, one of my favorite MCs in the game, period. For Who in the Bell Tolls, Immortal, Deja Vu, Veal Mentality, Change, Neighbors, and For Your Eyes Only. And number one, the old nigga in the game, you probably know who this is. Been my dog. I've been riding with him since way back in the days, since way in the 90s and stuff. Nigga had gold teeth, they called him ugly. They they said everything about the brother in, in the book, but he always been a smooth nigga, always been to the top of the game. Every, every People be talking about, man, the old niggas need to get out of the game. Nigga still smashing shit, one of the coldest MCs ever to touch the microphone. Jay-Z, 444. And Kill Jay-Z, Story of OJ, Smile, 444. Family Feud, Moonlight, Marcy Me, and Legacy. Now, y'all debate me if y'all want. This is my list and I'm coming to y'all. 
with a uh my top 25 R and B coming soon before the end of the year. They have albums I'm looking forward to. I was hoping Pusha T would have dropped this year. Nas. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about this list. If y'all fuck with it, if y'all don't like it, what I missed. But holla at your boy. Like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest of the most hated. Peace out.